Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Cafe Bagheri. You know, I was just thinking, I realized I've never done a fish recipe for this channel, but this recipe today, what I'm presenting to you is going to make up for that. We have a wonderful broiled salmon and scallion recipe, and it takes the cooking process end to end. It's only 14 minutes with a little bit of prep time up front, making it a great weeknight recipe. You're going to love this. Stick around. Let's make this thing together. So the first thing we do is to make the marinade. Some garlic, a couple of cloves of garlic, and I uh, mince my garlic with a press. We need some umami salty soy sauce, some acid. That's our lemon juice. We're gonna give you the recipes under the YouTube video, by the way, in the description. Some honey for the sweetness to balance the salt and the acid. And then we want some heat. I add some cayenne. You can slice some jalapenos if you like. We add some vegetable oil. Now all of this is gonna come together. We're gonna stir it thoroughly. That's your marinade right there. So now we're gonna put aside the marinade and get our fish. So you can, uh, you can use salmon pieces like fillet size or you can cut them in pieces like that they're a couple of bites each um, that what that does is it gives you more sides to absorb the marinade and to cook and get more char all over it so that's a perfect way to cook this fish but if you like fillet size for each person you can do that as well with the same marinade we're going to put those um, salmon pieces in our marinade and stir all up to get the goodness all over the fish and now we're going to put it away for at least 30 minutes. So we'll dump the fish and the marinade in a gallon bag, like so. And then we're going to push all the air out, seal the bag, and we're going to put it in the fridge for at least half an hour, no more than two hours, because your fish is very delicate and you don't want, definitely don't go overnight. So for your scallions, all the cleaning and prep you need to do is cut the ends off and then we're going to add some vegetable oil or olive oil and salt and pepper whatever other spice you like mix it all up make sure you get all the oil all over your scallions and now you're basically ready to put them on a pan or skillet I use these fajita skillets because it's thick and it retains the heat better so the cooking process now starts. There are two things involved, our scallions and our salmon. Our scallions are ready. We're gonna start the cooking process, guys. So we have to pay attention to the oven. Don't get on your phone or on the, on, on the uh, email or something like that. Don't step away. We're dealing with 550 degree broiler. While our scallions are cooking for the three minutes, we're gonna get the salmon out of the fridge and reserve the marinade liquid because we're going to use it later okay three minutes done our scallions are beginning to char look at this guy so scallions have had a little time in the oven we're, we're adding our salmon over the scallions and the reserve marinade half of it goes over the salmon pieces you can rearrange them to get a better distribution. Then the three tablespoons of butter is cut into pieces and we just spread them over the fish. This butter will melt to add to the goodness of your sauce. Now all of it goes in the oven for eight minutes. So guys, our eight minutes is over. Now we're gonna enter the final stretch, very simple. All we're gonna do now, look at this, check this out. It's already starting to get that beautiful char with that butter that we added. Now we're gonna add the rest of, you know, the part of the marinade that we served, that we saved. 
um, we're going to just basically add it to the fish and just push it back for a final three minutes. Oh yeah, you can see our salmon and scallions are perfectly ready. Look at that char. So we're gonna get the fish and scallions out of the fajita skillet. The scallions come out first because they're gonna be laying on the plate as the foundation of your dish. Then we're gonna put the broiled salmon on the scallions. Uh, at this point, you can serve your favorite sides next to it. I'm gonna serve it with Cafe Bagheri's chopped salad, one of my favorites, and all the goodness of the sauce goes on the fish. All that butter and the marinade that we added is gonna make a difference here. That's wonderful. So there it is, guys. This is my broiled salmon and scallions. Very easy to make, very simple marinade. Um, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Send me pictures of this when you make it. I love to see the pictures. I paired it here with my house salad. You can pair it with your pasta, with steamed vegetables, or whatever sides that you love with your fish. Very versatile. I'm enjoying it with my terrace martini here tonight. Please go to our channel and um, check out the video for this terrace martini. We have a video out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't before. Hit that little bell button so we can keep in touch. And I do look forward to seeing all of you here again very soon at Cafe Bagheri. Thank you.